Every three months, I receive a royalty statement of the music I've placed on TV shows, and last year, I received my biggest check yet of 15,000 in just three months. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I went from inconsistently selling beats to artists to going full-time with my music by getting my music on TV shows. Let me explain to you what I mean by that first by shifting your mindset. Music is the forefront of all entertainment. I bet you never realized how much music is actually used on an episode of reality TV. I spent six years working full-time for a music licensing company and I was shocked to realize within a one hour episode there's about 80 to 120 different tracks used on an episode of TV. That's just one episode. Think about the amount of music used for an entire season. But let's widen the scope of how much music is actually used in entertainment. I mentioned music and TV but did you pay attention to the music that was used in that ad that you scrolled by today? Did you notice that random beat playing for five to ten seconds in that chick flick that your girlfriend made you watch last night? Or even that music that was playing in the background while you're whooping some random dude in that virtual reality bar fight you got into last night on your Oculus. Music is everywhere and someone is paying for that music. Music for visual media is called sync licensing. You might have seen that term in your Beastars contract or even a random video you scroll through through TikTok. Anytime that music is used or synced, there's someone who needs a license to use that track. The person or company who's using that music will pay for that license. And there's two common ways to get paid. Through royalties, which is back-end revenue, or through upfront fees, which is basically like a rapper just leasing your beat. But unlike artists, these companies have dedicated budgets of thousands, if not tens of thousands, just to use your music. And I know what you're probably thinking, how is this even possible? How do I get my music on there? Music libraries. Imagine a TV show going directly to Beastar saying they need 150 Drake style beats for our next season of Real Housewives of Virtual Reality. Our budget is $20,000 dispersed evenly for each track used. Beatstars are the company that's serving that TV show will put together a playlist and they'll send that music directly to that TV show for placement opportunities. That's essentially what a music library does. Music libraries are a large catalog of music that supply music directly to these companies for TV shows, movies, ads, simply anywhere where you see a video playing. When I first started out, I assumed that the music that you needed to make for sync licensing was supposed to be corny. I was afraid I was going to lose my creative integrity if I really committed to this lane. It wasn't until I started working for a music library that I learned that the only reason why the music is corny is because there's some random rock musician sitting in their basement trying to make Drake type beats. We all know as producers, there's different styles of Drake type beats. There's sad Drake, there's dancehall Drake, there's turn up Drake. My point being is that there's niches and styles that are wide open for the taking. They need more producers who are good at their particular style to make their style. The music isn't corny, they just don't have the right people making the right music. But you can't get into this industry unless you know the right people or you have a big following, right? Well, let's see if that's true. The easiest way to get your music on TV is in a music library, like I mentioned earlier. Now, you could just Google music library and start searching the first list that you see, but instead, let's try a less saturated way and Google music library directories. I hope you have your pen and paper ready because you do not want to miss this part. Let's look through some of the endless lists of music libraries and check out their websites. First thing I'm looking for is to see if their music catalog is on their actual website. Let's see if they even take my style of music. I'm a hip hop and R&B producer, so if they only have orchestral or Beethoven type beats, then I know my style might not work for their catalog. So now that I see that they accept a variety of music, let's see how we can actually submit. Most music libraries have a submission form or an email that you can submit to directly. And the cool thing about it is that you can actually see their guidelines. Nowhere on this site does it mention that I need a large following or having to know the nephew of the owner of this website. We can see exactly what they want to get your music into their catalog. It may seem too simple to be true, but this is exactly how you get started. Now I must warn you, there are a handful of mistakes you do want to avoid. I mentioned before, I worked personally for a music library for six years. One of my jobs within this music library was accepting and denying submissions just like this. Just one small mistake of sending a Google Drive link instead of a Dropbox would immediately deny their submission. You don't want to spend hours prepping your music, researching music libraries, and filling out submission forms just to get your music automatically declined because you're streaming link doesn't play. That's the problem with Google Drive. That's just one example. Now to avoid the fear of making other careless mistakes like this one, I spent the last three months working together with my homies here at Heat to personally guide you step by step to landing your first sync placement. My goal personally is to help 1,000 musicians land their first sync placement, similar to how I've already helped 46 musicians working on my own land their first TV placement. Teaming up with Heat has given me access to even more resources to make that goal even more easily attainable. We put together a free masterclass that simplifies those steps to sync. We wanna show you these three steps, and if you're looking for more information, look in the description below. We'll be sharing more information like this in the future, so please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already and we look forward to growing with you upon your sync journey.